Late in the afternoon, Sri Ramakrishna sat with the devotees in the drawing room of Baluram's house. Chandra Babu of the Karta Bhaja sect and a witty Brahmin were there. The Brahmin was something of a buffoon. His words made everybody laugh. About six o'clock, Girish's brother Otul and Tet Chandro's brother arrived. Sri Ramakrishna was in Samadhi. A few minutes later, he said, still in an ecstatic mood. Can one become unconscious? By meditating on consciousness? Can one lose one's mind by thinking of God? God is of the very nature of knowledge. He is of the very nature of eternity, purity and consciousness. Sri Ramakrishna said to the Vitti Brahmin, Why do you waste your time with these frivolous jokes about insignificant worldly things? Direct your mind to God. If a man can calculate about salt, he can also calculate about sugar candy. Brahmin, smiling. Please attract me. Master, what can I do? Everything depends on your effort. Your mind is your own. Give up this trifling buffoonery and go forward toward God. You can go farther and farther along that way. The Brahmachari asked the woodcutter to go forward. At first the woodcutter found a sandalwood forest. Next a silver mine. Next a gold mine. And then Gems and diamonds. Brahmin. There is no end to this path. Master. Where you find peace, there is the end. About a new visitor, Sri Ramakrishna said, I didn't find any substance in him. He seemed worthless. It was dusk. Lamps were lighted in the room. Sri Ramakrishna was meditating on the Divine Mother and chanting her name in his melodious voice. The devotees sat around him. Since Boloram was going to celebrate the car festival at his house the following day, Sri Ramakrishna intended to spend the night there. After taking some refreshments in the inner apartments, Sri Ramakrishna returned to the parlor. It was about ten o'clock. The master said to M, Please bring my towel from the other room. A bed was made for Sri Ramakrishna in the adjoining small room. About half past ten, 
Sri Ramakrishna lay down to sleep. It was summer time. He said to M, You had better bring a fan. He asked the disciple to fan him. At midnight, Sri Ramakrishna woke up. He said to M, Don't fan me anymore. I feel chilly.